So good morning. Uh, this is Joe out here another walk today. I uh, just hopped across the street from where we were last and this is a newer neighborhood that they're just putting in. I would say these are probably homes that are built you know, from 2020 to new. They're even still building some houses. Yeah, I don't know if I would have the patience to have a new home be built while all the other homes are still being built. You know, just because all the construction and all that, I'd rather just have it all be said and done and then move in and be, you know, totally fine. But, you know, how much has your city grown? I know out here at Hewitt and Waco, it's been big. Even when I was back in Colorado, right as we were leaving uh, before 2020, uh, it was growing really big and it probably still is or probably maybe maxed out who knows uh but yeah, there was a lot of construction back then so a lot of people moving in or they're just making new homes out in that area i don't know what the growth has been for colorado especially around colorado springs since 2019. But these homes are nice not too cookie cutter or nothing like that pretty Pretty all right, if you ask me. And they got sidewalks. Come on. Yeah, it looks like they're still building some new houses over here. Uh, I guess they're getting some foundations poured this morning. So, good for them. If you can give me an endless supply of concrete, I'd be more than appreciative. I have a lot of projects I want to do with some concrete slabs would be uh, really nice to have. All right, so I'll give it to the concrete company's naming. It's a Tex Mix, M-I-X. I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful name. A plus. <laughs> So yeah, today was the weather is not as bad. It's still gonna be a hot day, but I think we're supposed to get a little bit, at least closer to 100 instead of being like 105 plus. I think it's like my threshold of comfort out here is like once it's over 105, it's no longer like comfortable. It's just like at that point, like nothing can escape the heat. Like our house gets super hot. You can tell in some of the rooms. I mean, that's why I was saying I wanna upgrade the attic. Probably all the back room as well. Whole back wall, I'm pretty sure. My gut instinct tells me there's probably not a lot of good insulation back there. <sighs> so maybe one day chop it all out, replace it, hopefully be better. Or the expanding foam. Wouldn't mind doing the expanding foam. But I know it's a little costly, but I mean, I feel like the prices have been getting a little bit better. So if you're insulation foam kind of person, give me reach out, text, email, something. Let me know what your prices are and services, and turnaround time, and what do we gotta do. But I think expanding foam is gonna be definitely the big thing for a lot of homes now. I feel like it's just really solid. The only thing I kinda like question is if I need to run new power lines through the walls or something like that, how much of a pain is that for the electrician that's my only concern or if you had to like water pipes and stuff like that i mean i guess you just cut it out just put in some new foam wherever you worked at and be be done maybe it's that's all it is it's not that bad i do like these houses have the newer uh drain spouts where it's kind of like the artistic overflow buckets that go all the way down i'm gonna do that too i'm gonna do that too because like our house the gutters are probably original and or you know still old uh but they just get so clogged with dirt and leaves and all that stuff that they're not even like draining and i clean them out often and like the first chance it gets to get clogged it does so what are your thoughts on newer homes, newer builds? Is it something 
worth its money. Yeah, sure you get something new, but a lot of people like to complain about the quality. Or you can get an older home, out of date, but what was built is of higher quality, theoretically. Uh, not always the case, just because the way people maintain their homes is also a different outcome. Yeah. What kind of house do you live in? A new one? Old one? I live in an old one. Like I said, uh, late 70s. It's not bad. It's a little ugly. We're updating it. Trying to make it better. I think the main thing I want to work on now is efficiency. So I want to work on the attic and get that kind of bulletproof with the insulation and all that stuff. So that way I stop losing you know the energy efficiency out of it you know i think i don't know what the cycle should be done but of insulation when it should be installed or replaced and all that stuff when should your house be updated depending on you know if you're having issues or not I'll be honest, I didn't want to wake up and do this walk this morning, but it's all right. We're getting warmed up. We should be all right. This is my, so on the last walk, or first walk, it was my left hip that was starting to bug me uh, the day or two after. Now, luckily, it never really got too terribly bad. With enough stretching and all that, it luckily kind of subsided and went away. So hopefully we can keep that going because it's just really un uncomfortable, really hard to work around with like the, when your hips are like locked into place that's what's happening with me uh, sorry I'm cheap if I see a house for almost half a million dollars I just kind of glitch a little bit that's not quite my price range um, but good on you but yeah my hip was just kind of getting locked up into place and so luckily with enough stretching we we're able to get that better uh, so hopefully I'll keep that going and hopefully we can kind of keep my hip from locking up and keeping us from walking and enjoying ourselves. So something I've been putting through my mind is the idea of returning back to the basics. And so what I'm meaning by that is, you know, you only have so many things involved in your life. So whatever those are so if like me being a father being a husband being a homeowner being a business owner those are my main focuses so what i want to do is try to be the best i can at all of those and so you know maybe come on maybe all i have to focus on are those things and all the external factors of things that maybe don't play into my life, I don't need to worry about. And I think that's what happens maybe with a lot of people is they worry about things that doesn't concern them 100%. Maybe it's why, you know, nice to be aware of it. At least have it like, you know, within your knowledge. But I mean, if it really doesn't play to your life, your day to day, and you're worried about it, it might be, might be some waste of time, hard for me to say. But, you know, so, or in, you know, on top of owning a home, I own my cars. So it's like, I own my cars, I don't own every car. So do I need to learn how to work on every car? No, I just need to know how to work on my cars. And I don't change cars out often. I try to like hold on to them for as long as I can because I, don't know, I feel like it's just a better option to play it that way. Yeah, you know, people will be like, well, I don't know how to work on cars. Well, you don't know until you learn. So unless you're willing to learn how to work on cars, then yeah, you'll never know how to work on cars. Or if you don't know how to work on your house, you're not gonna know how to work on your house until you learn how to work on your house. So, you know, it's YouTube, the internet and it's entirety libraries all that stuff is an opportunity for you to learn and specialize in what it is that is involved in your life and for you to get better at so maybe something to consider
So we got done with our second walk. We did it for about an hour and some change. So that should put us somewhere around two miles. Probably a little over two miles somewhere, two and a half maybe if we're lucky. Uh, Oakley did great. Oh, Oakley. Yeah. And so yeah, it was a good walk. Glad we were out here. It was a little bit warmer today, but beautiful homes. They had sidewalks, so I was happy about that. And yeah, we'll go have uh, the rest of our day. So I hope you enjoy yours and hopefully you do a lot of great things today. And otherwise, take care.